So we started the Image Lab project in the year of 2006. That was the time that deep learning revolution hasn't come yet, and the field of computer vision and AI was tackling one of the hardest problems in visual intelligence, which is object recognition. And so we set out to put together this unthinkably large, at that time, data set of pictures of the whole world. Before ImageNet, there was machine learning, but people didn't really realize that what it needed was this huge, sort of universally accessible database of labeled data that they could all use. And that was really instrumental in having the world see the full power of machine learning. The Stanford Institute for Human Center AI, which we call HAI, is a newly established institute we just founded this year. And the idea is we want to open a new chapter of AI in bringing interdisciplinary thinking and research to guide the course of AI's future and inform the public and the policy makers. She's also an incredible mentor and supporter of younger students. She's very generous with her time. She's very honest about the challenges that she faces. As a professor, my main job actually is to mentor the future scientists and do science with them. And that's part of my job that I really, really, truly love. If one of our master's students comes up with a better idea, Fei-Fei is the first to kind of welcome the idea, and we trust her instinct because she understands computer science much more deeply than almost anybody else in the room. The most salient issue is the lack of representation in this technology. So towards the end of 2014, we started planning a pilot project that morphed into Stanford's outreach summer program that at that time we call Sailors for High School Girls. We got so much encouragement, so much interest, so much support. We know we want to spread this nationwide and internationally, so we formed AI for All as a nonprofit organization. It was like, all right, what we really need to do is help facilitate that for the younger women who are coming into this field who say things like, you know, until the AI for All program, I never thought that people who look like me could succeed in computer science and AI. When we include diversity into a technology and, and, and the creation of a future world, everybody benefits. Mm -hmm.